All right, we're here with Adam, and we're at New Blue FX, and we're going to take a look at some new versions of their software. Titler Live Broadcast, and we're going to do it next. NAB 2017. So Tidal Live Broadcast um, is kind of the, the next version of it is going to be something that actually has a lot of new features um, from inputs as well as outputs um, connectivity. So kind of the main things we're talking about um, is After Effects import capability. So that's the idea of taking your project from After Effects, bringing it into Tidal Live Broadcast, and being able to edit the text. So eliminating kind of the round tripping that needs to be done. Um, we're talking in terms of input capability. We have XML, CSV reader, social feeds, and sports uh, score it. Information. So we're talking about Sportscast, uh, Stack Crew, and Declan. Um, so all that information can be run with the scoreboard that we have, or you can actually run everything manually from our own scoreboard modules. Okay. And um, you can create your own scoreboard. Yes. Okay. So and all the scoreboard again can be run from um, an HTML page. So you actually can have an operator running um, Tidal Broadcast on one machine, and have another operator just operating the scoreboard on a completely separate machine. Tell a little bit more about the CSV. Sure. So with CSV upload, essentially you're uploading full CSV. Files. So you have a main a name, surname, uh, title of the, of the person or player in the case of a, of a sports game, and then you have their image uploaded. So when you upload the entire CSV, essentially yeah, Broadcast yeah. is going to read the entire file, render it, and then from there you can quickly just scan through the names and it will reanimate every single new player that you have in the list, or let's say it's a graduation, it will reanimate those. So you can cut down the amount of time you have to do in terms of data entry by just uploading a CSV file, let's say 2,000 names, and now you've cut it down to a very simple process. Is there, any, is there an HTML component to that? Or the no? HTML components for the scoreboard feature, and that's where you're going to hand off someone on a separate computer to run the scoreboard. Okay. But, so but the CSV upload will be done through Tile Lab Broadcast on that machine. Um, other things that we, we added was I mentioned before was uh, you know social feeds. So we can actually have a we have a Twitter manager and a, a Facebook post manager. So essentially, it's going to display all the different tweets that are coming in through a hashtag or a handle, and allow you to actually go live with whatever new tweets coming through. Well, so you'll be able to monitor. Do you have to monitor, or there will be uh, there, you would have to monitor it. Um, we have uh, user feedback was uh, essentially well, I'll be looking at every single tweet coming in. Um, there has been discussions and uh, potentially an update down the line that would actually be something that would scan it for you know anything that you would want not to be seen uh, on a broadcast. But in, the other thing too is we have um, macro control. So if you're running uh, new tech TriCaster, you can actually load up macros and have them launch. So everything can be timed and, and kind of as complex as, or easy as you. Uh, so the product will be available for $2,500 uh, in early June. All right, that was New Blue FX. Uh, some great programs. Check it out. They've got it's great for uh, Wirecast, great for your, your TriCaster, uh, great for your, your software if you're even doing uh, stuff through your Adobe Premiere, through your uh, Magix uh, Vegas Pro, whatever. Uh, great. A great title. In fact, all these titles you're seeing, the socials and everything, they're coming from New Blue FX. Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine, youtube.com forward slash Geekazine. Until the next time, NAB 2017, you guys geek out.